Hello everyone, it's Edie here with Video Tips Thursday. And today's video tip is actually a tool, but it still can be considered a tip that you guys can use. And I just wanted to bring your attention to it. I'm going to make sure real quick that everything is up and running on my Facebook group. And it is. <clears throat> so good afternoon, everyone. And again, welcome to Video Tips Thursday. Today's video tip, as you can see in the description, is on a tool that I use. And it's actually a YouTube channel management tool. It's one of two that I actually use on a consistent basis um, in order to do research and to make sure that my video content is on topics that are going to get me views on YouTube. And this tool is called VidIQ. And I have the link to the main web address um, in the description above. But in this um, little tip today, what I wanna do is just basically give you an overview of what I use it for. And then I want to show you a quick video um, just sort of outlining some of the cool things that it can do more in detail. So vidIQ can be used either as a free tool or you can pay for um, the information that you're getting. What it does do is it allows you to install two things on your computer. You have to do two Chrome extensions um, on your computer. And what happens is as a result of installing these extensions, whenever you go into YouTube, you will be able to get performance information. They call it a scorecard on every single video that is on YouTube. And this gives you information on the keywords that um, that particular video is using, which is by far the most important thing that you would want to know. Because the way that I use that is if I want to create a video and um, it's on a specific topic, and I can come up with as many keywords as I can think of using the usual um, path that you use. You go to Google uh, Keyword Planner and you do your due diligence and you, you know, research the keywords and you get a slew of keywords that you plan on using with a particular video. Well, believe it or not, there are probably hundreds if not thousands of videos on that very same topic. So what you want to do is you want to look at the very top ranking videos and see what keywords they're using so that you can make sure that the keywords that you're using are in fact the keywords that are going to get you ranked. With this um, tool, you can find out not only the keywords that they used for their video, but you'll also be able to see with some of those keywords, if they are ranked high, or actually it doesn't even really matter what number they're ranked, whatever number that that keyword ranks at in YouTube, you will see that number. So if you see that that particular video is using a lot of keywords that are ranked in the top five, then those you know are really great keywords that you can use for your video as well. So it's a really good tool that sort of shortens the amount of time that I have to do when it comes to researching for um, topics and keywords that I need to create videos for. So there are a bunch of other things, like I mentioned, you can certainly analyze and understand what competitors are using. You can research a term and then see across the board um, how many videos in total have been tallied in YouTube, what's the average um, number of views for that particular topic or keyword, and that can also give you a good indication as to whether that's a good keyword to even use and create a video for. Because if there aren't enough search results and if the search results aren't garnering enough views, then that's a very, very good sign to not use that keyword and therefore not create that video. So it really does help you um, fine tune and figure out a lot of things that you need to figure out. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a quick video that I created. It's um, literally just PowerPoint slides that walk you through some of the key uh, points in this application and its extension and what they do and the kinds of information that you can get. But it is a tool that is extremely vital to 
me being able to help me and my clients create videos that make sense for them. So I just wanted to share this tip on this tool that I happen to use. So I am going to switch over to the video so that you can see it. So vidIQ is a tool that I introduced to you in reference to using it um, as a tool to help you analyze your competitors as well as to help you figure out the best keywords that you can use for your videos that um, you're going to upload. But it is also a tool that you can analyze use your competitors to as well analyze as your to channel. Help you figure out the best and so their that you dashboard can use looks a little bit different as a um, tool but it is also a tool YouTube's that you can dashboard, analyze but it gives you some well of the same channel. types of information. So their we'll dashboard is a little bit um, a little closer to this and then at the end will go live so that you can see what that active platform looks like. So first up, you're going to see that you have your demographics and all of the content of the information that's in here is going to match. It may be a little off by a couple of percentages, but it's going to match what's on YouTube as well, because your that's where they're generating their, the their information, the information from. So with the demographics, this basically tells you, you know, are you more geared towards attracting males or females? I actually was stunned and still am stunned to see that I attract more males than I do females. And I tend to attract um, people or males and in particular, both actually males and females in the 25 to 34 um, age range. That actually uh, is surprising to me personally. <laughs> Um, and then the other thing that you can tell from um, vidIQ is um, where is your video embedded? So this doesn't give you every single um, website, but it gives you like the top, I believe it might be 10 websites that might be um, using your video on their website. Now, bear in mind, Whenever you have, and this is part of why you use YouTube, whenever you have a video that is public on YouTube, you've basically given away the right of that video to be embedded in someone else's, uh, on someone else's channel. Now, all you're doing is giving that right to them. They cannot do anything to that video. They can't make that video theirs. They can't somehow scrub your information and put theirs on it. It will always, always, always link back to your channel. So it's not a bad thing. It actually is a great thing to have others embed your videos on their channel. Because as you can see, people who view your videos on those channels it actually counts as well. So this is only going to help you and help your channel. The other bit of information that vidIQ offers, um, I believe TubeBuddy offers it as well, but YouTube does not, is based on the cumulative information that these tools acquire, they can determine the best time for you to post. So based on the information, and I don't remember when I took this, uh, this shot, but based on um, this information, the, the current best time for me to post was 1 p.m. Um, and it seemed to be pretty much 1 p.m. on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Now they're also, and you can tell from the enlarged circles, but I also think that apparently here on Sunday at probably about eight o'clock at night seems to be also a really popular time. Um, so I have, I can look at this and it can give me a good gauge as to the best time to post so that I can make sure that when I post, I get the most uh, views at that time. But you can't just rely on this. You have to do other things like making sure that it's embedded elsewhere. Another thing that vidIQ does is it also tells you um, what your, the top videos that are searched on YouTube. 
and for that particular um, time frame, and they also do it by the month. So at the time that I was doing, that I um, selected these images, my how to transfer ownership of a YouTube channel was the top YouTube searched video, and it had 19 views and 40 minutes of watch time. So this is also a good tool to have just so that you know what is it that your audience is reaching out for? What information is it that they're gravitating to? So that you can make more videos like that. So I'm going to go live so that we can um, see what this looks like live. And so this is my vidIQ dashboard and channel. Um, again, they do their splits um, days up, you know, somewhere in the same range as YouTube. You can use this drop down menu and you can choose whatever time frame it is that you want um, to search. They have, again, this is the demographics, the top URLs, the top videos, the top searches. Um, an overview. I'm actually, I think this is a kink in their system um, where they don't have any uh, subscribers and I'm waiting to get word back on, on what needs to get done. This might be an API issue. Um, the top playlists, whatever playlists that I have, which are the tops, and it can give you the views, the total number of likes, the total number of dislikes, the total number of comments. Um, and then shares, Facebook comments, Facebook likes, and if anyone has tweeted about it. Um, again, here is the uh, best time to post. As you can see, this is a different time now. So it's now saying that my best time to post currently is at 5 p.m. So, and then this is trends. It just gives you you know, what are, have been your views for the past seven days and then 30 days. And it tells you whether you're up or whether you're down. So they have the same content as your YouTube analytics. It's just displayed a little bit differently. Now I'm going to briefly go through some of these. I don't have the most robust membership, but I do have um, a membership with this um, particular tool. So there's some things that I'm going to be able to do and then others that I'm not going to be able to do. And it's totally up to you whether or not you want to um, use that. The other thing that this does is it then breaks down. It shows you all of the videos that you have on your channel. It tells you the date that it was um, uploaded. It tells you the total number of tags or keywords that you have assigned to that. And then it makes a big deal if you don't have any. Um, and then the total number of views, your likes, your comments, how many tweets have gone out, how many Facebook likes, how many Facebook shares, and how many Facebook comments. And there's, you know, I have, I don't know, 200 plus videos on here. A lot of my videos are not necessarily for public consumption. So a lot of them that don't have tags or that don't really have any views, they're just there either as private or unlisted because I need to do something with them at some later um, date. Um, this actually is not a tool that I'm using right now. It's for a description campaign. So I'm not doing any campaigns at the moment. So we'll just skip over that. Um, this is just so that I can configure vidIQ for my Facebook page. If I wanted to have a tab on my Facebook page and I don't, so I don't use this. And then um, you can, if you upgrade to their, I believe it's called Boost, um, and I believe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 or 80 bucks a month, you can get subscriber analytics. And that will give you um, information on, you know, like it says, analyze what your subscribers are watching, the top videos, the top channels that they're watching. And it gives you even more robust information about the best time um, to post because then you can see when they're on. So all of that's really, really um, good information. You can analyze your competitors if you want. And I wouldn't necessarily call this necessarily analyzing competitors, but you can analyze people that do the same thing as you, as an example. And you can see, um, you know, you can analyze what your 
um, views are, subscribers are, and um, in comparison to them from the week before to last month to three months. So you can get all of this information. I can't really fairly look at this because my subscribers are actually, what are my subscribers? My subscribers are actually 800 um, subscribers. So I don't know why that's not translating over here, but it's not, and there's nothing I can do about it, so. So that was just a quick video so that you could see exactly um, how vidIQ works and all of the cool things that you can learn about it. There's still more that you can learn and um, I definitely highly recommend that you check them out at vidIQ.com. Uh, vidIQ.com actually leads you to signing up for either a free account or you can start with their, what's that called basic? It might be called pro account. And then the one above that, which I mentioned in the video for $79 is Boost, I believe. Um, I have the one below that. I think it might be called Pro. I can't even remember. But that one is about $10 a month. And um, But the Chrome extension is free. And there is a basic membership that's free. So I recommend just at least starting with that just to sort of get your feet wet with it and see how it works, definitely install the Chrome extension so that you can learn a little bit more, not only about your videos, but the other videos that are on there. And also just um, a note, I did end up finding out why it was that I didn't have any subscribers listed. And that was because on my YouTube channel, I actually, um, in the settings, selected that that be hidden. And I didn't even realize that. So um, I have to deselect that and then vidIQ will read that information. So just in the event that you're doing the same thing, they're not going to be able to read the total number of your subscribers if you don't have that available for public consumption. So that was my video tip Thursday for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yesterday, I think I did a post, uh, well, I have a post, a Facebook Live where I was letting you guys know of some new promotions that I have coming up. I have a webinar that's going to be coming up on the 20th. And then I have a video challenge that I hope everyone participates in because I'm super excited about that one. I think that everybody's really going to have fun participating in that and it's going to be very, very interactive. I'm going to be able to help you um, all with your video creation needs. And that starts on the 25th of July. I am still working on the copy and on the Facebook ads and on the landing pages and all of that cool stuff. So. That should be rolling out um, soon in the next few days. So anyway, of course, as always, if you have any questions, please post them. Don't forget tomorrow is Q&A Friday. So if you have any questions about anything at all video, please make a point to post your questions so that I can answer them. And then as always, um, just to share the love, if you can let your friends and their friends and their friends know about Video Kickstarter's Facebook group um, so that you can let them get a, be a part of this group as well so that they can get help with all of their video creation and video marketing needs. I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, I am going to continue to share as much information as I can. As I learn and I experiment and I have successes, I will pass that information on to you. And I just hope that you can spread the word and definitely don't be afraid to ask any question whatsoever. So take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.